Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Leo. Uh, this is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. What do they want from you? So Leo, this could be someone that you're already dealing with or that this is someone that, you know, has disappeared from your life and they're just recently coming back. So we're going to see what this person wants from you and then we'll finish off the read to see what, um, what will happen if you allow this person back into your life or if you continue moving forward with this individual if you're currently dealing with this person. So uh, apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so uh, Leo, tell me about Leo here. Tell me about Leo. The person that Leo is currently dealing with or the person that Leo is coming back or the person that is coming back into Leo's life. What does this person want with Leo? What does this person want with Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. What does this person want with Leo? I'm going to take that. Eight of Wands. This person wants to talk, okay? So you might be receiving a lot of communication from this individual. This person also could be coming out of distance from you. Maybe this is a long distance situation here. Um, but it seems like they have a lot to say. All right, we have the lovers. I feel like this person wants to tell you that they love you, okay? You guys might have a very strong uh, bond with this individual here. It might be a soulmate connection. You could be dealing with the Gemini. You might even have Gemini in your chart here, Leo. We have the Hermit. It seems like this is someone that has maybe disappeared from your life from a very, for a very, very long time. Maybe this person has done some sort of inner work here to overcome their insecurities, their fear of, uh, of abandonment here. You know, I feel like this person's neediness could have gotten the best of this relationship here. But I feel like this person has do done a lot of inner work. We have the Hermit here, Virgo energy, uh, King of Wands here, and a Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so who, this person t has done a lot of self-evaluation here. The thing is, I feel like you don't, for you, Leo, maybe for you, this is something that you don't want to revisit again, okay? So you could be dealing with another Leo here, Aries or Sagittarius with that King of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Wands here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? We have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tell me about this uh, uh, Lovers. And then we have the Knight of Wands here. I feel like this person's coming at you in all di different directions. This person's coming in pretty quickly. You know, I feel like this person's still really passionate about you, okay? This person wants to tell you that they love you. They want to basically sweep you off your feet, again. And I feel like this person has done that before, okay? So the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. I do feel like this person's energy is a bit erratic, a bit all over the place, a bit unreliable. Uh, so in terms of, you know, the change, I feel like there's not much change, but there's definitely some sort of awareness surrounding the way that they behave here. Okay. The Hermit, we have the Three of Cups. Tell me about this, uh, Five of Pentacles in the Chariot here, Cancer Energy. I do feel like this person's at a distance from you. I do feel like this person does want to reunite with you. You know, they could be coming in from out of town and they want to sit down and have a coffee or have dinner or something like that. Okay, could be dealing with a cancer here. You might have cancer in your chart. The King of Wands here. The Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles here. And the Six of Swords. Seems like they want to move forward towards higher levels of commitment here with you. You know, this could be an indication that Leo... You might not be revisiting this. You might be wanting to move on to a new relationship or that you have moved on to a new relationship, okay? Let's see what else we have. What will happen if Leo allowed this person back into their life or if Leo continue moving forward with this individual here? For November 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. All right, let's 
Ten of Wands. Four of Swords. It seems like this person will continue to work on themselves here. This person definitely carries around a lot of burdens with them. A lot of trauma, a lot of pain here. And I do feel like this person is going to continue this self-work here. But I do feel like there's a bit of erraticness here, okay? I think that's the only drawback here. We have the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Cups. One of the things, I feel like this is you, Leo, this Queen of Cups. Because I feel like you're incredibly sensitive or intuitive. It could be that you already feel or know that this person's going to hurt you again. Or that you still haven't really gotten over um, maybe some sort of betrayal that this person has uh, done to you. It, it could be that this person just abandoned you. Yeah, this person just left you, ghosted you, okay? Uh, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Eight of Swords here in the Star. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like you don't want to be stuck in this situation anymore or that you no longer want to be paranoid um, or or that you don't want to be walking on eggshells with this individual here. I feel like you just want to focus on healing. Yeah, I just feel like this. Is, yeah, I just feel like you feel like you know that you will be let down by this individual again. Okay, tell me about the Ten of Wands. We have the World. Four Swords. And the Knight of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Lots of Knights here. You know, for you, Leo, this is over. But I feel like for this person that's trying to come back, I feel like this person's trying to pull all the stops here, trying to get you back here. Ten of Swords. With the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like, I just feel like you have been through a lot with this individual and I feel like you just don't want to talk. They want to talk to you. Yeah, they want to sit down and talk to you. But you don't want to talk. Queen of Cups. We have the Emperor here, Aries Energy. You know, I, I really feel like for some of you guys, you guys might be talking to someone new already. Yeah, you know, talking to someone here who's more mature than th this person, this current person or past person that you're dealing with. Uh, Aries energy here with the Emperor. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? All right, we have the Four of Wands. Tell me about this uh, star. Why is the star here? And the Ace of Wands here. You know, I feel like this person, I feel like this person just can't stay away from you. It's like this person runs away, tries to leave, and then comes back. Or they try to leave, or they, they come back. It could be a situation that you're having a hard time, or that it's difficult for you to stay away from this individual, or both of you have a hard time staying away from each other. Because there's definitely some sort of energetic pull. There's definitely some sort of sexual desire here, too. Uh, you know, perhaps the sex is really great between you guys, all right? So, uh, Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.